you know that this right here has always been a thorn in my side. Well, I'll find out if it's all right, if it stops leaking. Well, that didn't take long. Now we make it all look pretty much black again like that. Well, stay tuned. Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So today's project is to sort of go through our 2320 and see if it's uh, ready to go for our spring and summer projects. If you've watched the channel before, you know we've done some videos on this, a review on this machine. Uh, but this time I wanted to sort of tell you what we do every spring is we come out to the garage we give it a walk around, take a look, see if we think there's anything that needs to be fixed or um, addressed before it goes into service for the summer. And right now, um, this machine is going to have its oil changed. It's going to have its filter changed. Uh, fluids will be checked. And one issue we do have with it is, and if you've seen the videos before, you know that this right here has always been a thorn in my side because these hydraulic quick connects always seem to leak on me. Now, over the years, I've replaced the entire quick connect unit to stop the leak, but eventually they leak again. I've replaced the O-ring that's actually inside. If you look inside here, there's an O-ring back in there with aftermarket, which lasts for a little while. I mean, like a little while, like two or three months, and then they leak again. And I've always tried to get the actual parts. I said, geez, you think John Deere would sell that little O-ring? Well, maybe I missed it, but you know, over the years that I've owned this machine, I could never find a part number at John Deere for that until the other day when I found a part number. And it was a part number for this O-ring, number 32246, to replace that O-ring in there with the actual John Deere O-ring. So I like to dig this one out replace it with that and see if this stops leaking. Because I, I checked around to see which ones. This one seems good, this one seems good. This one was wet, but I think it's because this may have been leaking down onto it. So we'll replace this one first with the official John Deere O-ring and see if that solves the problem and then see how long it lasts. So let's get to work. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, there's the O-ring right there. There it is. Boy, that that looks an awful lot like the factory one. That was aftermarket. There's the factory. Well, maybe it's a little thicker. Maybe. Well, let's put it in, see if it makes a difference. Try to avoid the dirt. Might be in there. Just take this little ring, see if we can get it seated. Without wrecking it. Come on. success. Look at that. That's all right. Well, I'll find out if it's all right, if it stops leaking. All right, let's hook it back up. So like I said, we're going to 
go through the machine, make sure she's ready to go. Change the fluids, at least the oil and the filter, check the fluids on the transmission and on the radiator, make sure that's all ready to go. We'll give her a good cleaning and then we'll put it back in service for the year. Let's first see if this thing's uh, going to leak. If this one's leaking down here, we'll do the same. We'll replace that. They come in packs of two. So, I don't know if they're trying to tell us something or not. Now the weird thing about it is, is it doesn't always show a leak right away. It's like you let it sit, and then over time, you know, like the next day, you come back and all of a sudden you'll see it's it's wet. But right now, it's telling us problem is fixed. But we'll know tomorrow morning when we come out and take a look at it after we uh, put her away for the night. So uh, stay tuned. Well, that didn't take long. That's fresh. This one is dry. This one is leaking. So we'll replace this one. It looks like we need to replace two. Now, this is one of those aftermarket ones. Which is, you know. You'd think that would last, you know. But these aftermarket ones, they seem to, like, dissolve. Look at that cheap okay that looks good seems to be seated in there pretty well give it a quick clean and then uh, hook it back up okay so we did this June 10th of 22. Well, that's the cross-reference for the John Deere, so I'll try that. Can't see it. Nothing's easy. Looks good. <laughs> Jeez.
it's funny this DeWalt power greaser you know sometimes it greases fine and sometimes it you know it just won't take it and I end up using the old pump I don't know why exactly that is but that's what happens like up here that's fine it takes the grease fine There, fine. But go on that one? No way. Okay, I think that does it. Let's see, we changed the oil filter. We changed the fuel filter. We greased the entire machine from front to back. We washed it, cleaned it up. We replaced the two O-rings from the quick connect couplers for the, um, for the bucket that were leaking, so we fixed that. That's pretty much it. I think this thing's uh, back in service for the summer. And uh, we got lots of projects that's coming up this summer for this machine. So um, stay tuned for those. Oh, one other thing. You, you notice this? If you have a John Deere, or maybe some of the other ones, you see how that used to that used to be like, like jet black like that, the bottom tray? You know how you make it look like that again? For like next to nothing. You can see over here. See how it's all faded away from the sun? You know, this hasn't. For some reason, this has faded away. It's not quite as bad there. Now we make it all look pretty much black again like that. Well, stay tuned. We're going to come up with a video to show you how to, uh, how to make that look almost brand new again. Or certainly better than what it currently looks like. Until then, hey, thanks for watching. If you like the channel, please subscribe. We're trying to increase our subscribers. We've been climbing up pretty good. Um, so uh, we're trying to get to that thousand mark. That's our first goal. Uh, so if you could help us do that, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>